Hi there! Today we will introduce you to a compact TFX power supply which is able to take 30% overload. Currently, most manufacturers of power supplies don't pay enough attention to the compact models made in format SFX and TFX as they are dedicated solutions and accordingly are not very popular. Nevertheless, the range of C-Sonic Electronics features relatively compact high power solutions corresponding to the relevant standard 80 plus gold. One of them is the model C-Sonic TFX 350 with increased power up to 300. 150 watts and updated platform. Power supply unit comes in a compact cardboard box with colorful accents. In addition to photo of the device, it also contains detailed information about technical features, cable configuration system and use technologies. The package includes all the necessary components – AC power cord, modular cables and manual. A distinctive feature of the model C-Sonic TFX350 is its small size. So it is perfect for building a compact PC in mini ITX case, which involves the installation of TFX power supply. As always, the build quality of the device has no complaints. All of the panels are well treated and fit tightly to each other. Output cable system has completely modular design, but in any case, both modular connectors are used and output cables are connected, providing a single structure. In other words, you cannot remove the unused cables outside the case. Additional power to the CPU is realized by 4 plus 4 pin ATX 12V socket, and video card is powered by 6 plus 2 pin PCIe socket. As for the peripheral connectors, the manufacturer has provided 4 SATA connectors, 2 PATA and 1 FDD. The device's nominal power is 350 watts. The plus 12V channel is designed to the same load of 348 watts. Such indicator is perfect and in some ways even unique for compact solutions. However, the manufacturer has decided not to leave one powerful 12V line and divide it into two virtual with the current limit of 18A. So, in theory, this solution will not affect the ability of the power supply and it's easy of its use. Also, the model supports a wide input voltage range from 100 to 240 volts. That is, in case of unstable power supply, you don't need the use of external voltage regulators. The base of this model is a platform designed by company C-Sonic Electronics. It uses relatively advanced solutions, which mainly characterized by full-size ATX devices and are rarely found in such compact power supplies. The cooling system deserves special attention because it is quite difficult to arrange such dimensions in a small case. But as you can see, engineers from C-Sonic Electronics found a way to solve this problem. EMI filter with a complete list of required components is on the input. Most capacitors for ripple smoothing belongs to the solid state type, although there are several modules with liquid electrolyte. Their manufacturers are such famous companies as Japanese Rubicon, Nippon Chenicom and FP Caps. The power supply features the following list of protections. Active air circulation inside the power supply is provided by 80 mm fan based on two ball bearings. It is not cheap solution, but quite reliable. Till a certain load, power supply operates in a completely silent mode with disabled fan. In our case, the fan was activated only when the load was 200 watts. In case of active fan, the novelty didn't stand out from the rest of system components. More or less audible noise was observed only at the maximum load, in the interval of 300-350 watts. This cooling system is very rare, especially in such compact solution. On the whole range of loads, the product didn't provide any noise in the form of annoying squeak of chokes or the hum of the transformer. After continuous operation at maximum load, the temperature of C-Sonic TFX350 was far from the critical point. 
it is obviously that compact power supply units are not intended for overclocking experiments, so it is not correct hope for the high levels of overload tests. But don't forget that we are dealing with C-Sonic electronics. Equipped with considerable rate power of 350 volts, C-Sonic TFX350 easily won mark of 450 watts, that means plus 28.6%, and disconnected only when it reached 460 watts overload protection. Node of voltage stabilization coped well with the task. In all cases, the voltage doesn't go over the limits of the standard ATX12V and on the most popular line, plus 12V, didn't have drop below its nominal value. Excellent results were obtained during the ripple measurement of the power supply outputs. In most cases, they were in the range of 0 to 25 microvolts and only occasionally shifted within the range of 25-50 microvolts. Tests of real effectiveness show that the model C-Sonic TFX350 not only confirms to 80 plus gold standard for voltage of 230 volts, but even surpasses it. To build a real computer system, we use the powerful 6-core processor operating at nominal frequency and video card with a total DDP level of 250 watts. Model C-Sonic TFX350 easily copes with the proposed configuration that in terms of DDP level is compatible with gaming configurations built on the basis of the compact components. Power supply C-Sonic TFX350 features a lot of technical solutions that are typical for high-end devices. This is provided by very high efficiency and excellent state of the output voltages. The quality of applied components is at the highest level, as evidenced by the huge power reserve. Also, special attention is given to the cooling system. It provides efficient cooling of power supply unit and doesn't create excessive noise as almost competitive solutions. Detailed review of power supply unit is available on the iTube channel guessit.com by clicking link in the video description. See you soon!